What is up? We are checking out Buddy's van, the one we were checking out the transmission on when he picked it up. Taking off the air filter and a few things to get better access to check out with the engine bay. We pulled the doghouse off in here. 160,000 miles and look, you can tell this is the difference between the Ford and the Chevy. The engine's original, look, it's clean. There's not oil running down <laughs> on the valve, out of the valve covers. Yeah. Uh, this is only a 4.6 liter. It's got, it's, I guess it's more like the industrial style. It's not a plastic manifold. It's a hybrid of plastic down there. And then it, then it goes, the runners are actually aluminum. Okay. We just took the EGR valve assembly off. There's a good chance that that might just be failed because that's the only thing that, uh, it keeps popping up a code for the failed EGR. Okay, we just got back from the auto parts store. Buddy's down there getting the new EGR valve and sensor combo ready. You can tell they probably changed the alternator once, or at least, which is typical. Looks all nice and shiny, but look at the valve, the co timing chain cover and everything. This thing is clean, you know, because it's a Ford. It hasn't leaked oil out of every little pore and valve cover and everything you know so, so 160,000 miles and the engine seat still runs like brand new but it, it didn't need that transmission which got rebuilt it might have just had a couple broken parts but to be reliable we had the whole thing oh. rebuilt there so oh. you dropped the gasket like I did now huh? yep. uh, I don't know I was just trying to see what you got in here twin cats for four sixes, man, this is heavy dude. Look at that oil cooler. I know. Water to oil. It's got coolant lines going to the heat exchanger. Flat yeah. plate. Wow. Man, that's nice. There's that rebuilt transmission. Yeah. That's pretty damn clean. Big ass throw the exhaust pipe with the Yep. Two big cats. Aluminum drive shaft. Yeah. Nice. It's starting to get a little warm out here for us. All right, there's the new part. New, new EGR valve and sensor combo. So as long as there's nothing wrong with the computer, it should take care of that. Wasn't so bad, took the doghouse off and just were able to get the wrench on this exhaust pipe and then two bolts and it came off. All right, we're back in the rattle trap got to do something about all that before it drives them insane, but uh, cleared the uh, computer and we're doing a check here. So I'm looking more at the EGR, at the EGR um, percentage that it's calling for and then the error between what you want and what it is. And that's bouncing between a positive and a negative most of the time, so it makes me think it's working and it still has no fault for any of those values. Anyway, we're going to cruise it around a little bit. Go through some smooth accelerations and make sure that EGR clears. And then, if it does, we should be good to get the emissions done on this thing. All right, we're just getting home, cruising up the road a little bit. Probably drove about 10, 15 miles. Um, I don't think it's completed the uh, emissions readiness, but it hasn't faulted anything. So the only code it still has is the P1000 because it isn't the test is not complete yet. So of course it's not going to pass emissions. No faults, but it's just not complete. So we'll have to drive it, see what happens. It should be good though. All right, I'm going to show him how to uh, check his emissions. So he's zero codes, um, malfunction indicator lights off, monitors one incomplete. Bump it one more time, evaporative. Now bump it again. Now it's going to say seven ready, and he's going to bump it to scroll through what's ready. No misfires. Fuel's good. Uh, what that means. No, it's not. That's uh, uh, something else. It's emission stuff. Keep going down. Catalyst is good. So past the the uh, sensors. O2 sensors are good. The heaters. I don't know why I have EGR right there. Passed. So what we did today fixed that. The EGR is done. So that was the bottom of the list. So seven are ready. All those, including what we had. What was the one fault? The only thing that's not complete, but it's not in a fault, is the evaporative system test, which does take a while. You have to drive it. By the time he drives back home and scans it, it's probably going to be ready. All right. 
And after church, my buddy got to, drove his van. All right, so zero codes. Okay, and then uh, it doesn't say anything about incomplete monitors. Zero incomplete, eight ready. So, yeah, you're ready for missions. Yep. All that, and then eight, yeah, eight trap the EGR, which is what we fixed. Yep. So you're good. Good to go. Good to go. Yeah. Back. Yeah, I guess I can just put that back. So. Cool. All right, so job well done. Yeah, man. Awesome. So, yeah. Awesome. Fist bump. Yeah. All right, man. Cool. <laughs>